He was the uh, student athlete of the month, uh, one of the three that they listed for October. You said who were they? You were. Oh, I was? Of, you oh, didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's. Uh, no, I ain't know that. Oh, dang, that's what's up. All right, so seeing this how you just found that out, yeah. uh, I know they require a lot of y'all here. Uh, so how do you manage to still do good in the classroom and give it all you got on the floor and find that balance like that? And really, honestly, uh, I just think about when I was at JUCO, you know, Coach Nick used to be on my my tail about, you know, getting my work done and stuff. So, no, uh, we used to have a lot of study halls then, okay. but I didn't really like it, so, you know. Now that I'm here, uh, I'm in a blessed position. You know, I can't take nothing for granted, you know. So getting my work done is something that, you know, I have to be done first because I'm a student before I have You got a lot of JUCO uh, transfers on the team this year. Is there anything that you're able to tell them about your transition from JUCO to D1 that uh, could help them? Just trust the process, you know. It, things might seem rough right now, but as the season go on, as we continue to practice, now, uh, shots to start coming, you'll be more comfortable within the offense. Thanksgiving is coming up this week. What's something that you're most thankful for, and what are you most looking forward to eating? I'm most thankful for my family, you know, having a good support team behind me, you know, support me with whatever decision I decide to do. But um, and I'm looking forward to my mom's dressing, you know, mm -hmm. her Thanksgiving meal. She come with the dressing, macaroni, yams, and collard greens. All right.